Well, welcome back. The latest issue of the Austin Phoenix comes out this month. And here to talk about the latest issue is Kelly Holt and Carol Fowler. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. First, let's talk about the magazine. What is Austin Phoenix? Give me a little bit of history behind this publication. So the Austin Phoenix is a quarterly publication based out of Austin, Texas. Um, it's about local entrepreneurs and startups um, in the city. So each issue that we come out with, we feature three to four different startup or, or entrepreneurs in Austin. And I'm sure there's plenty to talk about. Yes, absolutely. There's no shortage of content. Yeah, so just a, a few weeks ago, a few weekends ago, I actually interviewed someone on the hottest tech gadgets of 2014 and some predictions. And uh, w one of the things that he was talking about were the wearables. And you just wrote an article that's coming out in the latest issue about these wearables and a local company who's getting in the business. Correct, correct. That's Atlas Wearables. Um, and it's completely different from any other wearable technology technology out there right now. It tracks and identifies essentially any activity at the gym and variations in those exercises. Um, it's actually available for pre-order right now uh, via contributions to their Indiegogo campaign, which has just extended um, an extra month. They're doing really well. Um, it's really exciting. Absolutely. What, what were some things that you had no idea that these wearables could do? I mean, did you learn some things along the way? Did you know anything about them before you started researching um, the subject? No, I actually met them at um, the Austin A-List, which is kind of a showcase of the hottest startups in Austin. Mm -hmm. And I, myself as a fitness guru, um, kind of fell in love with the concept that it could track squats, it could track variations in those squats, it could track yoga, um, any sort of activity. It's not like a pedometer or not like a pedometer or a GPS tracker only, but it does those functions as well, and it syncs with your smartphone. Um, it's really going to change the way uh, I think that people relate to the gym. Yeah, so. I'm so old school with my phone app, trying to do <laughs> map my run <laughs> with the map. That's as far as I have gotten. So what else can people expect when they pick up the magazine? And is it a monthly magazine? It's quarterly currently. Okay. So every three months we come out with a new issue. Um, and this is actually the last issue that we came out with mm -hmm. um, in October. And I brought a copy for you. Oh, great. Um, essentially, I mean, we discuss different entrepreneurs and startups, but we also have complimentary um, content in there. So business advice, marketing advice, um, industry news, what's going on in the tech or um, startup industry in Austin. We also include a magazine as well. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have a website where we keep rolling content online on the months that we're not producing an issue. And the issues, when we, um, when we actually come out with a new issue, we produce it in print, digital, and tablet format. Okay. So it's available in several different formats. But the print copies we actually have at the event, and we host events every time we release a new issue. Got it. And so, obviously, you've got a website of someone saying, how can I get my hands on, on one of these magazines? I mean, it's not just sitting in a stand free. I mean, you're, you're going to subscribe to it. Correct. Yeah, you can actually subscribe to the digital edition for free currently oh. um, via the newsletter, our newsletter online, mm -hmm. and then also our iPad app. We like free. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you two both for being here this morning. I'm definitely going to check this out. My evening reading tonight. Thank you <laughs> Absolutely. so much. And we'll have information about this magazine on our website along with this interview. Let's